All right, guys, we're going to jump right in. The first product I'm going to be using is the My L Organics Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream with Babasu Oil. And I put the first five ingredients on the screen for anybody who is interested. I've already separated my hair into four sections and I'm going to apply the product to my hair. Um, as you just saw, I was smelling the product and it smells like, it smells like citrus and ginger to me. <laughs> A combination of citrus and ginger um if you have smelled a moscow mule that's kind of what it reminds me of the scent of it um it's not my favorite scent but i don't hate it and yeah the scent of this cream and the gel both linger in the hair so if you don't like the scent then you know just keep that in mind so yeah, I'm taking a generous amount of the cream and applying it to my hair. This cream had a pretty thick consistency, but when I was applying it to my hair, I didn't feel like it was moisturizing my hair as much as I would like. As you guys can see, I'm being really heavy handed with the product and that's simply because it didn't feel like it was doing much for my hair when I was applying it to my hair. So I kept, you know, trying to add more product and get it to do something. It also didn't have very much slip, but it's a cream, so I don't expect it to have a whole lot of slip. Um, that's also why you see me just doing the praying hands method and smoothing the product into my hair because I could not rake my fingers through my hair with this product due to it being a cream and being thick and not having a whole lot of slip. But yeah, I did end up using a whole lot of this product just because I didn't feel like it was super moisturizing. Once I'm done applying the product to this section, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of my head in the same exact way that I applied it here. Here I'm showing you guys that the cream is only 7.5 ounces. They didn't even give us 8 ounces. <laughs> and I used over half of it for my entire head. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is the Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. And here are the first 5 ingredients for anybody who is interested. As usual, I am going to go ahead and saturate the section before I start applying the gel because you guys know I like working on soaking wet hair before I apply my stylers. As you can see, this gel has a pretty creamy consistency. It kind of reminded me of like a cream gel. I really did like how this applied to my hair. As you can see, I was happy when I put it on my hair. It had a lot of slip. Um, I do feel like I would like this gel even more if I used it with other creams or leave-ins that I like. Um, I feel like the curl cream kind of held the gel back from being able to perform at its full potential. And also, when I was reading the directions on the gel, it says to apply it to freshly cleaned hair so to me it sounds like it's supposed to be used for a one product wash and go I don't know about all that <laughs> maybe if I'm adventurous one day I may try it for a one product wash and go but I do want to try it with other leave-ins and creams so obviously if you guys can tell my favorite of the two products was obviously the honey and ginger styling gel it did smell just like the curl cream which told you guys I'm not like a super fan of the scent I don't hate it I don't love it um, if I could change the scent I probably would <laughs> but it's, it's not horrible and like I said earlier both scents do linger in the hair the gel costs $12.99 for 13 ounces and the curl cream costs $13.99 for 7.5 ounces they didn't even give us eight ounces and it's $14 and like I told you guys I used over half of this product for this wash and go which means I'll probably only get one more wash and go out of it and to be honest with y'all 
I probably won't reach for this product again for a washing up because I didn't really like how it applied to my hair and it did end up leaving my hair feeling pretty moisturized once my hair was dry. I did feel like my hair could still use more moisture so as much of this cream as I used I don't think I should have needed any more moisture. I used over half of the container so my hair should have been super moisturized in my opinion. I do have other products that I feel work better than this so I will not be repurchasing this cream and I don't even know if I'll be using it again to be honest. <laughs> but I do believe I would repurchase the gel. Um, I only used about a fifth of the bottle and I do believe I will get several more wash and goes out of this product. Here are my wet results. And here are my first day results. Overall, I was happy with this wash and go. So I will say that it was a popping wash and go. But like I told you guys earlier, I don't feel like my hair felt as moisturized as I feel it should have been being that I used over half the bottle of the cream. <laughs> but I did like how my hair looked. I liked the movement that it had. I liked the shine that it had. And I feel like the gel gave me pretty decent hold. I feel like it could have given me even better hold had I used something else underneath it besides the cream that I used. I do feel like my hair ended up getting frizzier faster with this wash and go than it has with some of the other wash and go combinations that I have used. I am showing you guys how my hair progressed throughout the week and by day four which was the last day that I wore my hair down after that I wore it up in a high puff but yeah, by day four, um, I felt like my hair looked more like how it looks on day six or day seven. Um, I did have quite a bit of frizz at that point and I felt like my hair felt as though it could have used some more moisture at that time. So that's why I just went ahead and wore it up in a puff for the rest of the week. But I did enjoy the wash and go while I wore it down. I did like how it looked. Um, I didn't mind it getting frizzy faster, but that did um, prevent me from being able to wear it down as much as possible. But overall, like I stated earlier with these two products, I do believe I would repurchase the gel. And like I said, I wanna try it with some other combinations to see how I like it, because I do feel like it has potential. And I would not repurchase the curl cream because I don't feel like it's worth $13.99 when I have other products that work significantly better in my opinion than this one product here so yeah y'all that is all let me know how you guys like my results and drop any questions that you have down below as usual thank you all for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye